Average Guy Air Guns here again with another backyard pest control video. Here's the warning. Warning. This video contains images of animals being legally shot with air rifles. This video is not intended to sensationalize the killing of animals. This video is intended to show you the effectiveness of air rifles as pest control and hunting tools. Any slow motion video is intended to prove the accuracy of the rifles I use and to show where proper shot placement should be. There is a link in the description to show why animals flop around after a brain shot. These animals were dead before they hit the ground. If you don't like this sort of video, then please do not watch it. We'll start off things using the impact, shooting the JSB King Heavies in 25 caliber. I've noticed another red squirrel running around the yard, and if you've ever had a red squirrel problem, you know they can cause an extreme amount of damage, so he had to go. So here's a funny story about these crows. Uh, they were in the backyard just playing around and driving the dog crazy in the house. Uh, they realized what they were doing, so they just kept sticking around and the dog kept going crazy. Well, I had already been set up to get chipmunks and red squirrels, so they're being a nuisance and legally you are able to kill crows out of season if they are being a nuisance. I was really hoping that this guy would hop in front of uh, where I needed him to be to shoot. I have a board set up. You'll be able to see it here in just a second. There's the board. I need him to step in front of that board to have a safe shot at the crow. Yeah, he needs to go just another couple of feet, and uh, which he does, obviously, or else I wouldn't have put it on here. You can see he kind of took off in the opposite direction I need him to be. Uh, took a lot of discipline to not pull the trigger uh, until he was in the safe shooting zone. I had put my dog in the cage by now because he was driving me crazy over the birds. So he needs to be right there in order for me to take a safe shot on him. Uh, it's so close right now. So close. anchored him. Couldn't have been a better shot. Shortly after I killed that crow, there was about 10 to 15 more crows that joined in my backyard to let the whole neighborhood know that I shot a crow. So finally, my intended target shows up, and you can see the door to my shed there. The chipmunks and red squirrels have been tearing my shed apart, so they have to go. Um, I should have loaded a poly mag in this, but I was shooting with the King Heavy still. And uh, I just like how the poly mags don't penetrate all the way through a chipmunk at 30 yards, uh, the way the... Uh, King heavies do but I do have a board set up you've seen in the crow video to kind of extend my safe shooting area no you've seen it right I missed uh, I don't know what happened but I realized I don't need to be over penetrating so it's time to swap out for the Maximus to take out these chipmunks at 30 yards before I got a chance to put the scope cam on, there was two chipmunks that popped up in the backyard and I took them out with the Maximus, proving that it was more than enough accurate to take out chipmunks at 30 yards. That shot does not prove it. Uh, I go to slow motion to see why I missed, and as you can see in this slow motion shot that I forgot to hold over. 
Uh, yeah, the Maximus at 30 yards is a half mil mol a holdover when the scope is zoomed at 12x. So I give it a half mil like I should have been, like I was without the scope cam, and now I have dead chipmunks. If you're wondering where that guy supermaned off to, uh, it was a clean lung shot, and this is where he made it. That's him right there, dead. He didn't make it very far. This one came out before I had a chance to set up my shooting table and rest, so that's why it's a little wobbly. Uh, still got the job done, though. To prove how accurate the Maximus really is, uh, I was going to take a headshot on this guy. I did succeed, and to please YouTube, I edited out the flopping. Uh, but this clip also shows how quiet the Maximus actually is with that muzzle brake on. Uh, that squirrel didn't even notice anything going on other than there was a chipmunk flopping around by his bait station. Another reason why the Maximus is so quiet is because the pellets don't pass through the chipmunks and smack the wood. And as you can see, it doesn't scare off any other wildlife in the area. When I went to retrieve the chipmunk, I realized this guy's pretty big. Uh, chipmunks normally average two to six inches long with a three inch tail. Uh, this guy was every bit of six inches, maybe a little more, and his tail was a little longer than three inches as well. Um, this isn't the largest chipmunk I've shot here. It's just the longest one that I've recorded. That'll do it for this episode of Backyard Pest Control. I'd like to thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you at the next video. As always, you can follow me on Facebook and see a lot of the behind-the-scenes type of stuff that I do around the house and in the backyard. Uh, thanks.